Paul says that I'll be plowing the fields tomorrow. I, I, I ain't had much, <coughs> much schooling. All I remember after that was the car driven away. I don't remember it coming. Just the man leaving in it. (laughs) You folks plumb wore me out. I, I remember one guy yelling, Get your butt to the compound. And and then I hears Ma and Paul yelling, Jim Bob, you folks plumb wore me out. Now I mean he didn't sound at all shaken. He sounded mighty angry though. Kept hollering orders. <laughs> You folks plumb wore me out. The government, well, I didn't do anything wrong. I was just feeding the pigs, that's all. I, I don't go to school. All I remember is hearing a a plane getting closer and closer to the barn. And I was down in the grain cellar getting a pail of oats. And that's when the thing crashed into me. I, I was laid out for about an hour after that. Well, I didn't hear nothing for about an hour. And then I hears Ma and Pa hollering, Jim Bob! Jim Bob! And, and then they went away. And I hears two men foraging around. So I figures that they're survived. Uh, I can't... <laughs> Right, I, 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 wait a minute. I, I heard a woman getting choked and, and some swearing. I was afraid for my life. I think that's what woke me. There's two men. One's the killer, and the other I hears before. He's arguing about some box that they forgot on the plane. I was wondering, how could they worry about some old box when they done crashed a plane? (laughs) There's two men, I think. One was the killer, and the other I thought wasn't in the wreck. <laughs> <laughs>